Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's a good fish. Today we are going fishing. Got the boat hooked up, doing a little bit of celebrating now that I got my project car lined up. Picking up my brother right now, we're gonna go hit the bay, look for some California halibut. Got some frozen herring and squid in the kill bag with some ice, got a couple snacks. Couple sticks here, got my Avid two speed lever drag. Uh, got 20 pound string on that, running 20 pound on my Komodo. Fishing a three way swivel here with a ounce and a half sinker. Uh, just gonna be fishing some fresh dead frozen bait, see what we can do. Yeah, it's way easier. Got you. Any bites? Yeah. Thank Thanks, you. Man. Oh yeah, nice day. Yeah, buddy. No road that goes to these houses. You have to have a boat to get to them. So living that boat life. Looks like there's a couple boats out there at the bridge, so we'll make a drift in here and give it a try. My friend Alan's caught some halibut in this section. I love this bag. I just wish I filled it up more often. <laughs> How are you baiting these up? Well, we got some frozen uh, Pacific herring, just a smaller size, and I got a 2-0 owner hook. When you're fishing halibut, it's nice to have a stinger hook, but I'm not running those today. And that would just be a secondary piece of line with another hook back here, because halibut always short bite your baits. They short bite it, kind of swim with it, and then they swallow it whole, but we'll see. I'm gonna try for some Californias. Ta-ra. like a little horned fish. I don't know what type of fish it is. Some type of little rock fish. My dead herring came off and I somehow foul hooked this thing. So I'm going to try to throw this hook through his nose. We're going to fish him. See if he'll catch me a halibut. That's a great thing to put up there, dude. I like that. Look at this thing, dude. It just swings over and dumps. Comes out of that conveyor belt into that hopper. Yeah. And there's a spinning thing right there that moves it along. Wow. That is crazy. this knot okay go through the eye and go back so you got a loop okay and then overhand knot like that Take whatever you're tying, put it back through the loop, and run that loop back up your main line. Wet it. Cinch it tight. Palomar knot. Pin on a bait. What do you think you got? Uh, maybe a halibut, maybe a, it feels like a halibut. But I'm kind of wrapped up on it funny, it's shaking funny. So I hope I don't, it feels like a big halibut. The way it's head shaking, but it, 
It also feels a little funny, like it might be like tail wrapped or something. Oh, that's a fucking good halibut. Whoa. That's a good halibut. That's a keeper. That is a keeper. You want a hand? He's running. Do you think you can gaff him? I don't know. I've never gaffed a fish. All right, I'll gaff him. That's a really good fish. Why are you shaking? Because this is a really good fish. I've been trying to catch a halibut like this for a minute. And he's not in the boat. That's a good fish, bro. Oh, that's a good fish. Shows how one person does it. Just gotta tire him out a little bit. That's a good fish. Yeah, buddy. Yes. Nice. Yes. Oh, yes. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, that is a good fish. That's the one I've been wanting. Let's oh. go. Oh, yeah. Whew. Thank you for the camera work. Oh, let's get this guy unhooked and we'll uh, show him off to you. Oh, dude, he's that, got some meat. That is a halibut. Yes. My oh, man, dude. That's my first halibut in this boat, my first personal. Let's go. A California halibut. Minimum size is 22. First halibut on the boat. I'd say probably. 15 to 20 pound class. He ate the dead herring. Ah, gorgeous fish. Wow. What gorgeous fish. fish. Ah. Give me the mouth. Oh my god. Yes. Dang, what a fish. Oh, straight slob. Just popped his gill. Going in the kill bag. Yes, fresh blood on the boat. Oh yeah, we know where they are. Well, guys, beautiful day. We're we're done fishing. We spent about four hours out here. Started at noon. We're about to motor home at four. We're gonna get back to the dock. We got one fish in the boat, but it's an absolute win. It's a slob of a fish. Probably 15 to 20 pounds. I'll try to get a weight on it maybe when I get home, we'll see. But we're gonna meter our, motor our way back and uh, load up for the day. Get you some shots on the way home. Great day, great day guys. Personal best halibut, meat's going in the freezer. Maybe we'll do a, a catch and cook. Uh, go home and get this thing cut up. It's a big old crusty rusty. I like it. It looks savage. Yeah. It hey, looks like it could take a bead. I think it's a tugboat. It's got some big ass smokestacks over there, dude. 
for utility, dude. Honestly, nailed it. Let's go. So you gotta do it when you're one man. Good to go, baby. Even. I love how you just got to muscle it. Yeah. <laughs> Crushed it today, dude. Great day. Beautiful day. Yeah, Good we weather. Big fat halibut. Can't complain. Life is good. This transom is super weak and it's starting to tear where the outboard mounts to it and it bounces a lot going down the highway. So the previous owner's got this neat little board. You can just drop the engine down onto it, strap across it, add some extra stability going down the highway till we fix this. We'll fix this, future episode, hint. But this boat's so great, dude. Just thrash it. You don't have to wash it. Just beat the crap out of it and park it. Road hard, put away wet. That's it. That's why her name is the Crustacean. <laughs> is that really what you named it? Yeah. <laughs> it's a great name. It is a good name. Oh, Christy. Mm-hmm. The old Crustacean. I always wanted to name a boat that. I think it's a good name. Solid. We're good. What an epic day, guys. I just got Evan dropped back off with his family. I'm gonna head home. We still got some work to do. Got to get the boat in the backyard and got to fillet this fish and get to processing. So I'm hoping we'll do a catch and cook. Uh, we'll see how much energy I got when I get home, but Headed back to the barn. That's where we were today, folks, out in the bay. Beautiful day, beautiful fish. Really glad I could share it with you guys. Special day. I got to share it with my brother, too. Great quality time. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, hi. All right, Sage, you want to see this thing? What do you think, puppy? Hmm? Oh, you got some fish slime on your mouth. Pretty good, huh? There we are, baby. Beautiful California halibut. Want to get the slime off him? He is 33 inches. That's a good fish. That's a great fish. I don't have a scale, but uh, why don't you guys drop me a comment down below and take a guess at how much you think this fish weighs. I'm gonna say 15. It's been a couple years since I filleted a halibut, so if I botch it, don't get too angry, all right? First cut we can make is down the center here. There's a, a line that runs down the center of these fish. I'm 
Next, I'm just gonna make a cut along these fins right here. And we can make another cut too, right here on the tail where the meat stops. I cut through this outer skin first. Okay, and now we found the ribs. Try to drag this fillet knife along those ribs. I'm gonna use this kitchen knife instead. That Bubba blade, the tip on it was bent a little bit and it's kind of screwing me up, but this knife is really sharp. You just wanna run the blade down the ribs. That'll help you get the most amount of meat. You should hear them click with your knife. Just running the blade from the back along the spine and then looking for those ribs. Now that is a nice fillet right there. Not too bad for my first. Gotta get the rust off but See, we got down into the rib cage pretty nice. Didn't leave too much meat on the bone, so I'd say that's pretty good for our first cut. It helps to stay clean, keep the table neat. Be rinsing my fillets off. You don't want to blast them with pressure. Kind of tears up the meat. There we go, another beautiful filet. We didn't poke any of the guts. So here's that line I was talking about right here. Let me just trace that. There's filet number three, not too shabby. Sage is standing under the table and all this fish water is just dripping on her head. There you go, fillet number four with a little bit of belly meat. Probably cut that off though. And there is your halibut, all filleted out. I did a decent job. There's really not too much meat left on the bone, which is good. Um, everybody says there's a cheek and I've seen them cut. I've seen them get cut out, so I'm gonna give it a try real quick. Got a little medallion. Could have cut a little bit higher up in here, but it's a little challenging with these smaller fish. Little cheek. Okay, now we're done with this thing. Pretty good though. You can see a lot of light through it, which is nice. Did a decent job. Let's see, 
Probably right about here is a good fillet size. Come on, I can do better than that. That's all right though. It's a decent, decent cut. Not too pumped on my skinning skills here, but it worked. That was a better skin. That's a nice cut. That turned out nice. That's a nice one. There we go. Probably at least five pounds. Beautiful halibut fillets. In case you guys were curious about what setup I did catch that fish on, this is my Avid Raptor SS6. Fishing like 65 pound braid. And a 25 pound top shot to a three way swivel with a two ounce or ounce and a half weight, but that depends on current. And then I was running a, a 20 pound liter of fluorocarbon to an owner two out hook. And this is the Daiwa Proteus boat rod. It's a medium heavy fast action. 40 to 80 pound braid, 15 to 30 pound, eight foot. It's a great rod. I have two of them. They've been great. Use it to catch yellowtail, tuna, all that good stuff. Just a good all around boat rod. I'm also a really big fan of these reliable fishing kill bags. Um, I don't have the space for a big cooler on my little boat. And my parents got me this a long time ago for Christmas, and it's great. You can fit a bunch of fish in them, and you don't have to have a big, bulky cooler in the boat taking up all your valuable space. All right, gang, catch and cook time. We got our halibut fillets. We're doing a macadamia nut crusted halibut with a lemony butter cream sauce. We got flour, beaded egg whites, panko breadcrumbs. We got pureed or food processed macadamia nuts. What we're gonna do is gonna put all this macadamia nut into the panko. Okay. Okay, gonna oh, make a mess. I have a feeling this panko macadamia crust is gonna be a challenge. But you know what, we're gonna keep it real, keep it raw uncensored the macadamia na macadamia na <laughs> panko and macadamia nuts mixed i think we throw some butter in there then some parsley nice gotta have the mistakes in there too okay parsley pepper, salt. Also, it's crazy how expensive macadamia nuts are. So it was like 13 bucks for that little jar. Try to mix this a little bit more, a little better with that butter in there. I hate seeing those catch and cooks though, where people just do these mediocre recipes. They'll just like fry it. Or they just salt and pepper and burn the out of it in a pan. It's like, come on, do some Ketchup covered halibut. Mm-hmm. Beautiful halibut filet. 
going in the flour. I used too much flour, sorry babe. It's gonna be some waste in the bowl. Okay, floured halibut, give it a little egg white wash. Let it drain. And we're gonna coat this bad boy. I need to like spoon some on top. Doesn't look good, but it's gonna be. Anything with macadamia nut on it is good. It's a bougie nut. Oh yeah. Okay, there's one. Here's our second piece. A little flower bath. Oh, there's a little riblet in this one, so we just gotta be careful. There's gonna be a couple bones. Okay, little egg bath. Hit it with some Emerald Legacy. Bam! Bam! We're gonna start a cooking channel. We got some beautiful macadamia nut crusted halibut. Gonna throw that in the fridge for a little bit. And we're gonna go for a bike ride. And I'll see you after for the rest of dinner. These need a little washing. The asparagus. I've seen you can just break them and they'll break at the natural place, but I like to control it a little bit. These are a little tired. Making use of what I got. We're going to try to use one cookie sheet for all this too. Just olive oil. Pepper. Look at that beautiful halibut. This crust is so legit. Oh my goodness. This crust feels so good. Time to throw in the halibut. Ooh, that's a nice knife. It's sharp. I was going to measure quarter cup because it says quarter cup, but I like to live dangerously. So let's just pour some heavy cream in there. That feels quarter-ish. So we're just supposed to melt butter, add some cream, let it thicken, lemon juice too. Now we just whisk this, yeah. Oh, that's pretty good already. Oh, look at that, folks. Looks beautiful. It's got a nice crust. Got our macadamia nut halibut. Some asparagus. Lemon butter cream sauce. And some couscous. Bottom's got a nice crust on it right there. Nice. Winning. Oh yeah, look at that crisp. That nice. Real nice. Aww. I'll cuddle at his maker. That's the stuff. Looking good. Plated up beautiful. Let's see how it tastes. This is the real raw, authentic reaction to the fish. Get a little extra sauce. All right, here we go. Macadamia panko crusted halibut. Caught yesterday. Mm-hmm. That is delicious. It's hot, a little citrusy, a little sweet from the nut. Panko and the macadamia give it a good crust. Got a creamy sauce. 
Let me give it a 8.75 out of 10. All right, guys, that's going to wrap this one up. The halibut came out great. I highly recommend the macadamia nut crust method. Uh, the butter lemon cream sauce was really good too. I've also done a recipe with a coconut lime sauce. There's a bunch of recipes out there on Google, so just check them out. If you are new to the channel, uh, my name is Alec and this is Day Off DIY. I primarily do a bunch of wrenching, home repair, um, but I'm starting to branch out, do a little bit more gardening, a little bit more fishing. So welcome to the channel. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to drop a subscribe down below if you think I earned it. I hope you enjoyed or I hope you learned something new. Stay tuned for my new BMW project and I will catch you guys on my next day off. Cheers.